I'm Charles Cook. I'm an orthopedic foot and ankle specialist in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and this is a open technique of Achilles repair using percutaneous techniques. And we're just gonna do a typical crack out stitch. So we'll start here and we'll work our way up. Simple, very strong, much stronger than pure percutaneous techniques. Then we go across so we can come down. So it'll be about minimum three. You can do more if you wanted to. Then you can extend the incision as high as you want. But three good crack out stitches ought to give us a very good purchase. Now we have three on each side. And your construct is incredibly strong. So now we want to tunnel this down to the calcaneal insertion point. So we're going to create our incisions. And we can probably go ahead and suture. We do not want to go through the tendon. We want to go just medial and lateral. And if you go through the tendon, a lot of patients have pain. You don't want to be too posterior that you're going to engage the retrocalcaneal bursa. You want to angle this in. So now we're just tapping it. Now we're going to drill the other side. A little hemostat can help you get going, start the tunneling process. What you're trying to do is then gain entrance into the sheath from both sides. So we're using the curved drill guide with a super shuttle passed through the end. And we're just gonna run this up through the sheath to our proximal wound. You can, now we're in the proximal wound. We just verify that we're in the sheath, but we are. You can see that very nicely. Then we'll pass this up. And then we'll just take the medial suture I said I oftentimes use two of these sutures, so we have two simultaneously. Then we we'll just pull this down. So we now delivered this one. So we'll come back and do the other one. It's really nice about some technique like this. If you've got some kind of wound down below that's really a problem, you can actually bypass. You can go even higher up on the back of the limb. So now we have the proximal with a very good tension. So now we're going to take the 4.0 CrossFit knotless and we're going to pull the suture through this and then like we normally do we're going to plantar flex the foot to pull our ends together now and we're going to put this in the hole and we're going to have that tension on there we can actually hook it if you wanted to and then we're just going to turn and push this into the bone and because you've used the crack out stitch you now have a very good repair, but you can have the ability to tighten it up a little bit more on the other side if you wanted to. So we'll do the same thing. And now you have this excellent repair to your Achilles. And again, you see the posture of the foot has been restored back to its natural plantar flex posture. So now we just close up these wounds. I have to cut the sutures off, but you now have the repaired Achilles. So my post op protocol for these is to put them into a splint, get the wounds to heal up, move them to a boot at 10 days. Weight bearing can start as early as two weeks, though oftentimes I'll wait till the third week. And I use a large lift in the heel, and then we just slowly but surely drop the heel down. I've taken patients out of the boot as far as walking around the house as early as six weeks, but usually it's eight weeks.